Hi guys and welcome back to iClone 3D where we discuss tips, tricks and tutorials for the latest animation softwares and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on bell notifications for all our future tutorials. You can also follow me on Instagram at iClone3D. If you'd like to donate to the channel, you can use my PayPal email below and any donations are greatly appreciated. Now without further ado, let's crack on with the tutorial. So we're gonna be looking at volumetric lighting and how to get lights to kind of shine through the windows in front of us. If we wanted to do that for kind of a cinematic effect, uh, very quick, very simple. So firstly, we're gonna load up the scene and uh, we're gonna to wanna to just turn off all the lights in our scene. So uh, we'll go here and we'll turn off every single light in the scene. And then we'll go into our visual tab and we'll turn off the IBL lighting and that will give us complete darkness. Now we're going to create a light, uh, preferably a point light, just to save a bit of time. Um, we're going to use this to kind of just get a basic light in, in the room. So we're just going to move that over here. It can be a bit so just bear with me while I fidget around trying to light up the room. Okay, brilliant. So we've got a little bit of light going on now. And uh, I don't really want it to interfere too much with the window lighting. So I'm just going to drag it about here. And we're just going to duplicate that by holding control and then dragging that along and that will make another light. And we're just going to bring that to light up kind of uh, yeah, here, perfect. Uh, maybe shift that over just a little. Brilliant. Okay, so now we've got some subtle light going on in our scene. What I'm going to do next is create a, another light and then we're going to create a spotlight this time. And we're going to go spotlight. And then we're just going to really kind of fidget until we get it all the way into position, which is all the way over here. So just bear with me while I drag it. No easy way of uh, positioning it where you want it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag this light outside of the building, so just outside here. And then we're gonna position it in front of these uh, two windows. So I'm just gonna bring it here. And then if you hit E on your keyboard, that will bring up the rotation gizmo and you can rotate that. And then we'll just bring that up a little bit. So what we're doing guys is we're trying to get, you know, the light to, you know, shine through the window as if it was kind of like an outdoor light and you can use it in any scenario, uh, you know, in a house, etc. And, you know, it could be used to kind of replicate anything from, you know, outdoor street lamps to floodlights coming through the window to, you know, a police helicopter shining their lights through. Anything you fancy. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back in and just see how that light's coming through. So we can see, you know, not very, uh, not very bright. So we're just going to quickly go up here into our light modifier tab and we're going to just increase the multiplier to the top. And we're going to do that for this one as well. And we're going to go back inside and just see how that looks. So we can't really see uh, much. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go down here and we're going to turn on volumetric lighting. So if I just uh, scroll down, I should see that somewhere here. Here we go, volumetric lighting. So we'll just turn it on. And now you can see, you know, this kind of um, faint sparkle coming through. So what I'm going to do is just position that a little bit closer to the window preferably about there. And now we can see we've got some light coming through, but it doesn't look very tidy. So what we can do is we can just bring that through a little bit more. And then there we go. We can now see that comes through quite perfectly. And it's quite intense. So we're just going to go up here and we're just going to bring down the multiplier quite a lot because we don't want it so intense. And now what we're gonna do is, instead of um, fidget with that one, we'll just hold control and drag this along here like that. Put that into position. Uh, we can also hit E and just rotate it a little bit to position it how we please. But effectively, now we can see, we've got this really cool effect 
where the lights come through the window. And I'll just do the same thing for the top up here. So I'll just drag that along and bring that up there. And then we can go into our scene tab and we can just turn these lights off so we don't see them in the scene, just so we can see how that looks. And effectively, we've now got some lights coming through the window, which looks really incredible. So we can go on these again and we can, um, you know, you can play around with uh, the strength, etc. Um, and, you know, just get that looking how you kind of fancy. You can mess around with the range as well. So, you know, that makes it come through a lot more. And you can see some reflection now starting to show off of the, you know, the windows and the frames. You can see that coming through there and looking really, really cool. So, you know, it's a really cool uh, trick, really a great way to get some, you know, amazing lighting in your scene. And as you can see, it really does set the atmosphere of this wonderful church here. So, you know, really hope that helps and really hope it helps you get creative and, you know, create some awesome, awesome scenes. As you can see, it looks really, really amazing. Really hope that helps, guys, and really hope to see you again soon for another tutorial.